This doesn't have to be your life. You are capable of doing great things. Because it's not about the not -being. It's about the get -up. It's about what you do after the knockdown. That is what defines who you are. What's going on, Ian Humphrey here, back with another video. This is my first one of the year. How's your new year going so far? Are you busy, like I am? <laughs> Did you start the year with, with a new list of hopes and dreams and goals? Have you reviewed that list every single day? Have you kept track of your progress? What I want to talk to you about today is maximizing your time. Because we're all busy, but we all have the same 24 hours as our competition, even if we're only competing with ourselves. I want to talk to you about tapping in to your dead time. Because this is one of the most important things that you can do in order to hit each and every goal that you set for yourself. I'm going to say it again. Tapping in to your dead time. I started working out this year or picking it back up. I had, had a, a shoulder, shoulder surgery recently over a year ago. But I should say recently I regained full momentum and mobility in my shoulder. So I decided it was time for me to get back into the gym, to get my swole back on, right? But I'm a busy man, don't have a lot of time, I have a wife, family, a lot of work that I have to get done. So I, it was important for me, I had to tap into my dead time, and, and since doing that, I be, I've already began, begun to see results. I've started to hit, hit uh, many of those goals that I set for myself at the beginning of the year. So let me tell you, let me just get straight down to it. Exactly what is your dead time? Your dead time is the periods of time that you have that you don't even do anything with. It's the it's amount of time, it's, it's, if, you've given, if you've been given a one hour lunch break, do you spend half of that lunch break reading a, reading a book, professional development, right? For me, because I'm so busy, my dead time, now, some of you, I know you, you have the same amount of dead time or the same period. This, uh, this is something that we all have in common. The prime, the most valuable dead time that you have is the hour before your alarm clock goes off. I'm going to let that sink in. The most valuable, untapped dead time that you have is the hour before your alarm clock goes off. Let me let me let me go into a little bit more detail on that. My alarm clock is normally set for about five o'clock or five thirty, I should say. Set normally for five thirty. So my dead time is that hour before. So it would be three thirty to four thirty. Or 4:30 to 5:30. I'm sorry. That's my dead time. So I set, started setting my alarm clock for 4 o'clock, so I could get up. And by 4:30, I knew I had one hour to work on my own personal goals, which in this case I'm talking about working out, getting back into better shape. So I'm up at 4. By 4:30, usually a little bit before, I'm already working out. I'm already working up a sweat. I'm already losing pounds. While everyone else is asleep. It's important, especially if you're an entrepreneur and you have a business. Something that you know you've got to work on. That you've got to put everything you've got into it. You are utilizing or you have to utilize your dead time. Because if you aren't and your competitors are then you are falling behind. I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. I told you I'd keep this short and sweet, but let's review. The most important or the more, most valuable time that you have is your dead time because that's the time that people typically waste or they don't tap into. It's the half hour of a one hour lunch. It's the hour 
before your alarm clock goes off. Now, now that, of course, it takes sacrifice. It takes some willpower. But you have to ask yourself this. Are the things you wrote down on that piece of paper really worth it to you? Do you really want to accomplish those things? Because if those things are worth having, and if you want them bad enough, you'll get up one hour early before your alarm clock goes off, and you'll get to work. This is Zen Humphrey, reminding you that it's not about the knockdown, it's about the get up.